Hey guys! Today I'm doing a first impression of Schminky's 48 half pan watercolor set. Schminky is a company based in Germany and it was founded in 1881. This company makes gouache and acrylic, but it's well known for its high quality watercolors. Today I'm finally getting around to using my Schminky Horridum set, which is the artist grade. This is a 48 half pan set, which comes with a swatch card, and I'll be using that soon. Up close you can see the label of the half pan. On one side there are code numbers as well as symbols. The stars stand for light fastness, the triangle staining, and the square's opacity. This information can also be found on Schminky's website and can be downloaded as a PDF document. Right now, I'm unwrapping all of the half pans, and I like how glossy they look. When I get a new watercolor set, I like the paints that have a gloss to them, which comes from gum arabic. It's a binding agent. If I see a dull, chalky watercolor set, I know the quality won't be there. The vibrancy and opacity will be lacking. That's just my personal experience. If you want to know more about the difference between a chalky and a higher quality watercolor, I'll provide a link to Veronica Zubek. She does a very good job demonstrating the difference between the two. But just because a watercolor is chalky doesn't mean it's bad per se. You can still learn how to mix colors and still make beautiful artwork with it. Now I'm finally swatching out the colors. So far I'm liking them. They're very pigmented and I especially like the yellows and the greens. The swatch card is made from a very flimsy kind of watercolor paper, but that's okay because I'll end up swatching these colors again in my watercolor sketchbook. The last color I'm swatching isn't actually a color, it's called Oxgal Wedding Agent. It's brown, but when you activate it with water, it's colorless and has this cool minty smell. I've never heard of Oxgal Wedding Agent, but basically it comes from the bile of a cow. Oxgal is used to increase the flow of watercolor and enhances wet on wet techniques. You don't need to use a lot, just add a little bit to your water and that's enough. Right here I'm experimenting with the Oxgal to see what the difference is between regular water and water with Oxgal. At this point I really can't tell the difference. Since the medium is new to me, I just need to experiment with it some more. If you want to know more about Oxgal, I recommend visiting the frugal crafter Lindsay Warrick. Uh, she did a great video comparing Oxgal with soap. If you're vegan, I highly recommend you watch that. Now, let's paint something. I'm painting a bowl of plums. I found the image on Pexel and I'll provide a link below. At this point, I'm just using the water that has Oxgal mixed into it. For the plums, I'm using the wet on wet technique to paint them. If you look at the actual photo, the plums are made up of various colors and I'll list the colors that I use in the description. I really like the light blue tones in the plums because it comes across as frosty and I just like that look. But I did apply gouache to those lighter areas to make it a little extra frosty. Believe it or not, this is my first time ever painting plums. I said that last time when I did that lemon painting, but it's true. I've never really painted fruits except for apples, bananas, and pineapples. You know, it, it's funny, but sometimes when I want to create something amazing and I can't think of anything, I end up drawing or painting nothing. I realize when I go through artist block, I tend to overlook simple things I could draw or paint, like fruits or plants. So that's something I'm learning to break out of. As for these paints, I really like the variety and vibrancy of the colors. Since this is my first time using Schminky watercolors, I have to use this set more often to get a good feel for them and to also learn how to properly use the Oxgal. Right now, my favorite watercolor sets are White Knights and Mungio. I'm hoping to add Schminky to my favorites as well. Anyway, you guys, if you've made it to the end of the video, Post a fruit emoji in the comments section. Thanks for stopping by. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!